were speaking about praying being a powerful thing to do. And that reminded me of a question I've had for a while. I grew up Catholic, and for me, it was always clear that I would pray to God, who is outside of me. And meanwhile, that has changed because I've learned that the divine is within, which actually feels much more like that's what it should be. But there are sometimes moments I have that impulse. It would be nice to pray, like to place asking for something in someone else's hands or yes, so that it's not a burden on me only. And as you just said, that praying is a powerful thing. My question is, to whom would I pray? When you speak about the divine within the soul, it's in a way a drop of that cosmic soul. So it's inside and it's outside as well. It's just that when you realize that it's inside, you also tune into that impulse. There are people who have asked me, could the soul be a protein that has been released by the genes and a protein action that then happens? It doesn't really matter what it is, but it's there because one can feel it and one has to train oneself to feel it. Once you know that there is that impulse within, you can pray to anything you want. You can pray to a tree because it also contains that. When you experience Self, you experience Self in everything. You're one with everything. And the more you experience Self, the more you're one with everything. So you can pray to a tree, you can pray to a dog, you can pray to a God, you can invent a God and pray to it, you can pray to, to spirits and beings and angels and whatever. It is about an utterance that carries with it the power of fulfillment. And the deeper you are in connect with yourself, the more powerful that utterance is. And a prayer is not necessarily asking for something. A prayer can also be sending out something, so that it also happens. So, it's not about intentions. Intentions come from the desire, ego world. It's about an utterance of Truth. And if you're in a state where things are very hard and you want help or support, you can get it from wherever you believe it's possible to get it from. It's all about what you think in that moment. Because very technically... You know, let's... Let's try to do something. I'll, I'll ask you to do something. You'll see what I mean. Just try to center yourself right now. All of you can do it, who are in this satsang. Try to feel the center. You can move like a pendulum back and forth till you find your center. Left, right, you know, left, right. Like a pendulum, move. Move, move, move till you reach your center. And close your eyes if you want, if it helps. Now you're totally centered. You can feel the center. And now just try to feel deep within, at the center of the center, the source. There's something there, you know, which is impulsing the entire system. You'll gradually learn to feel it. If you are in a state of despair, or something is difficult, or you need help, you can pray to the Source within. Because that is not you. You are not the Soul. You are this, and the Soul is that. 
And it is you in surrender to that and in prayer to that. And you can also turn the prayer outward into the universe outside and utter it into the universe outside. It carries with it that power. The power of this, of you, of this body that is uttering it. That is the prayer which is very, very powerful and reaches its completion. Yeah, you can open your eyes. Do you see what I mean now? Does it resonate? What I just said? Yeah? That's what prayer is. <laughs>